In this video, I'll show you how to find the imaginary roots of a quadratic using the quadratic formula. The question reads, solve 2x squared minus 5x plus 9 is equal to 0 by the quadratic formula to three significant digits. Remember that this part of the quadratic formula, the square root of b squared minus 4ac, is referred to as the determinant, and it actually tells us how many roots we'll end up having. So in our equation, we have an a term of 2, and that's the coefficient of the x squared term. We have a b of negative 5, and that's the coefficient of the x term, and the constant is represented by c. Let's go ahead and do a test to see if we'll end up with zero real roots. Substituting these values into here, we end up with negative 5 to the power of 2 minus 4 times 2 times 9. Negative 5 to the power of 2 is 25 minus 4 times 2 times 9. 4 times 2 is 8 times 9. That's 72. This will end up giving us a negative number or a number less than 0. Therefore, we have to prepare ourselves for an answer with imaginary roots. That being said, let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula where we have x, our root, is equal to negative b, and b will be replaced with negative 5, so we have negative, coming from the formula, negative 5 plus minus, and we just found out what that was equal to, and in fact, 25 minus 72 is 47, so minus 47 over 2 times 2. We will get two solutions here. The first solution will be positive, and the second solution will be negative. Let's start with the positive one. Negative times negative 5 is positive 5, plus the square root of negative 47 over 4. And the negative root will be 5 minus the square root of negative 47 over 4. Now we have to represent these roots as imaginary numbers. And that's not hard to do. Let's start with this square root of negative 47. Square root of negative 47 can be represented as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 47. The square root of negative 1 is represented by the letter i. So we have the square root of 47 i. Is 47 a perfect square? It's not. And can we break 47 down into perfect squares? In other words, can we break it down into factors that will become perfect squares? That's not a possibility either. So your final answer for this is 5 plus the square root of 47 i. And this 4 will be distributed to both of these terms because complex numbers always are in the form of a plus bi, where i represents your imaginary number, 5 over 4 and the square root of 47i over 4, that right there is your final answer. That is the complex number. Let's do this one. Well, it's going to be the same. Instead of this positive, it will be negative. So we have 5 over 4 minus the square root of 47i, and make sure that this i is outside of the square root, over 4. That's one of your roots, and that's the other. And so there you have it. That is how to find the imaginary roots of a quadratic using the quadratic formula.